everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so before we start the readings for this week i just wanted to um tell you a, just a quick little story to be fair i have as you can see this witch here this week on my table and there's a story how i acquired this witch okay which i'm quickly going to sort of explain to you um there's somebody I watch called Brum Reseller and I will put his uh, channel link in the description box below. He's based here in the UK and he sort of uh, works for himself and what he does, he goes around to the local car boot sales, he'll go to charity shops and what have you and pick up items um, that are being sold and then he will go and then resell them on his eBay account and makes just a little bit of an add-on to earn a living as we all try and do so yeah i'm gonna clip in <laughs> okay i'm gonna try and clip in um the little excerpt of the video where he goes to this man who was selling these beautiful dragons they were like little dragon statues and this witch was sort of amongst these dragons and he took no interest to the witch and i was watching the video thinking oh my god go for the witch go for the witch okay <laughs> and he was and he just took all these dragons and he, he did a deal with the dragons okay and then he was sort of still hovering around and he was looking at some bookends and the chap turned around basically and said you know what mate just give me five pounds for the bookends and you can have the witch as well and i was jumping for joy because i was like going have the witch have the witch okay <laughs> so i messaged him after and um, said if you haven't sold it can you could i buy it from you I offered to buy it from him and he said I'll tell you what he said uh, I'll do you a trade he says if you can do a, a reading for my partner then you can have the witch and I went yeah no problem and that's what I did so I gave him a reading he gave me a shout out on his channel uh, last week okay which uh, I obviously clipped into the video so yeah he's worth a watch especially if you're here in the UK because you'd understand the concept of boot sales he's just a nice chap and he does some funny sketches as well um, within his videos so I did say I'd return the favour back so I'm going to drop his link in the description box below any of my subscribers that are interested please go over and just support his channel Tenor on the lot. What, all the dragons? All these, li all these, like, all these little things here. It's 15. 15? Yeah, Yeah, go on then. I'm not really good with the... I'm not really good with offers. <laughs> Right, thanks a lot, mate. Well, at least for two quid each. Uh, I like them because they've got the Grim Reaper on them. <laughs> two quid. What are you doing there? What are they made out of? Thank you. There's another five, eh? Take that. Yeah. Them two, because they're bookends. Yeah. And have them two. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that, yeah, so. Quite. Just chuck them in there, 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 yeah. There you are, there's your five back, so. Cheers, young man. Great, thanks for that. Cheers. Thank you. Anyway, so let's get into the hall. Um, so here we are. Oh, hold on a sec. Hello? There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Oh, there's somebody at the door. 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 children <laughs> I sold a witch to a witch if you if you um, read the comments 
on some of the videos. You might see somebody called Poetry Witch. I didn't realise she does um, readings, you know, like palm readings. And um, so I swapped her, the witch, for a reading. And the reading was really good. I'll put a link to, the, to her channel down below. Um, because, yeah, very impressive. Um, she said stuff that nobody else could have known. So my lovelies, that is how I acquired this lovely witch. So don't forget to check out the link in the description box below and show some support um, if you are interested. Okay, so now we will get on with the readings. So my lovely people, I'm now going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Cancer. So, Cancer, what did I have out in the cards for you this week? And it was, don't take someone for granted who has been there helping you through. Sometimes you can forget yourself, so it's a wake-up call for you. That you need to thank those around you who are on the roller coaster ride. A sorry this week is needed, so learn to swallow your pride. Just think you've been taking somebody for granted who's been there through thick and thin on this roller coaster ride with you. And it's a wake up call, and I feel it's time to say sorry. The sorry's going on this week around you, Cancer, okay? So I'm going to jump into the cards and let's have a look what uh, messages come out for you then this week in the energies. So what have we got for Cancer? These cards, guys, <laughs> they're round and they're so awkward to shuffle. They are a nightmare. But they're lovely cards and I wanted to um, grab them out this week. So I'm just going to flick through and pick out two cards at random. I said in my first reading, I think I did for Aquarius, it's like shuffling beer mats. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. <laughs> right then. We have the thread coming out with the vessel. So, you've been up against it, Cancer, with these cards here, but going with the thread... It's like you've been holding on to hope on a situation, hoping that um, you will hear of a good outcome. We've got the rainbow in this card. And look how dark and stormy this cloud, the clouds are around this. And you've been dealing with something. I want to say some of you are dealing with like legal issues because I look at the red tape here that you've sort of been caught up in. So you could be waiting for a resolution, a resolve, to hear back from something this week. The vessel then comes out and I want to say the vessel is a moving energy, okay, like coming out of this dark energy. So we've got the sun shining through here, sort of wanting to say it's bringing you back to life. So there's some news this week, some information that allows you then to think to yourself, Right, I can deal with this now. I know where my next stage, I've got to go with this. I also want to say the vessel is about protection because that person is being protected while they are sort of surrounded um, in that vessel, okay? But there's some like naked, feeling naked and vulnerable about a situation. Cancer, feeling naked and vulnerable around something at the moment but it's out of view the outcome is out of view but it's going to come out in your favor okay so let's just um get a clarifier for those cards what else have we got for cancer and it's soulmates so When you look at the soulmate card though, there's a key here. There's progress coming through. It doesn't have to be on a romantic, but there could be somebody who's helped you through this situation. Now, if you remember my poetic words at the start, I said, don't take someone for granted who's been there helping you through. And I feel this person has been with you through thick and thin. Okay? And it's got 
to them as much as it's got to you. And it's this um, realisation of, you know what, I love you so much and I couldn't have done this without you. It's that kind of an energy. Now, when soulmates are mentioned, it can be a friend connection. It doesn't have to be family. It can be anybody who you treat as an ally, somebody who will help you, as I said, through thick and thin. So let's just get um, another clarifier for that. Let's just get one out of this other deck. But yeah, you're being given the key. You're being um, given access out of this situation. And look at this, wide open. So something is coming to an end. And it, I want to say freedom here. It's like liberation. Yes, I've got through this. Yes, they've helped me through this, whoever that soulmate is. Um, but it's like a liberation that something has finally come to a conclusion. So let's have a look at your um, how your spirit is feeling this week. What's sort of happening there within your hidden psyche. Oh, look, and it's happiness. So, as I said, there's some outcome here for you this week. That brings in joy, jubilation of a resolve, a beautiful energy that comes in. Let's just have a look what the universe wants to add on to that, though. What else have we got for Cancer? And it's the one ring circus. And this is how you have been feeling. Um, the universe is sort of showing you there. This is how you felt, sort of out on a limb, sort of just waiting to be rescued. And But the rescue is coming in. And that's why the happiness card come out in your spiritual um, situation there. And look at the new moon. So at last, okay, there's change coming in, movement coming in. And... You're no longer this uh, one ring circus where you've sort of had to do everything how you have thought of it as yourself, but you have had this person by your side that you have some of you taken for granted. So it's just a wake up call, really. So let's have a look at your animal spirit cards then. Okay, what's coming out in those this week? Oh, got three. So let's have a look why these have come out. The alchemical sign of fire is the fire ant. And this is like saying you've got to the bottom of something. Okay, this situation that I said that you were waiting for a res resolve on, it's, you know, it, it's come to a sticky end, but a good end for you. Okay, the moth is the alchemical sign of air. And this is like going out of the darkness into the light finding your way to freedom and the firefly here is also the alchemical sign of air and this is illumination because when we came in with this reading it was very dark okay very sort of dark you could not see the rainbow uh, above you but this comes in okay this is why the three cards had to come out you've worked hard at this situation you've got to the the depths of it and you've sorted it you may have felt fragile at the other end, but you're flying to your freedom. And now you've got light on the subject, okay? Um, and I want to say the firefly is this other person that's been there trying to sort of give you light at the end of the tunnel while you've been going through this process. So let's have a look what the message is from the spiritual realms this week. What else have we got for cancer? And it's holiday. We all need a holiday. <laughs> okay. And I suppose if you have been going through sort of a legal battle or anything that's been very taxing and, and you know, it's kept you grounded, this is what the doctor may have ordered for you. And it's like to say you could take a break, you could take a load off. The spirit of the ocean calls you, offering healing and much needed peace. Come to the water and connect with its endless flow of magic. You need a change of scenery, take a holiday and all will fall into place. And I feel this is what, um, as I said, the doctors ordered. And because you're a water sign anyway, the water is a healing uh, energy to your soul. So just to be mindful, spirit are saying to you, get a, you know, even if it's just a couple of days away where you can get yourself uh, near to water in order to regenerate, to rethink, take stock. 
and decide where you're going next after this situation that uh, you've been struggling through. So the fairy realms come out with whom do you need to forgive? Okay, As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. So in this process, you could have sort of had anger towards a partner, an ex-partner, okay? And it's like to say, learn to forgive because that energy that you hold and store in with anger will give you a lighter, more pleasant energy to go into the new phase with. So my lovely cancers, don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. Check out the link below for Brummy Reseller where I got this beautiful witch from. So until next time, you take care. Bye then.